What's up, everybody? I'm Stan McQuay, and I'll bring you on into my house and check out how I live. Okay, you're in my pad right now, and uh, this is the couch that I had made. It's full custom, big old couch. Ah, this is how I lounge every day. Uh, this right here is my trophy case, and this one right here is the one that you all know I won right here. This is the uh, 2006 national champion for the light heavyweight class. This is the one I worked 10 years to get right here. That's the bad boy, and that's the one that turned me pro. Before we get to my kitchen, I want to show you my good luck samurai. Basically, I found this in an antique shop. Uh, this thing was uh, built about 100 years ago, and uh, I found this. And this thing has been nothing but good luck for me. And uh, it's part of my culture. And I always like to consider myself a samurai. This right here is my kitchen. This is where I spend a lot of my time. And my protein powders right here. You know, got BioTest. You got to stick with BioTest. You got to love them. Um, got my food in my fridge. Now you guys, I remember now, I'm not getting ready for a show. So everything you've seen here is what I like to eat after. And this is pretty much the first thing that I went for that I grabbed was a big old pumpkin pie. Since we are a week out of Thanksgiving, I'm gonna eat this whole pie. This is for me, and just me. And I got bottles of whipped cream. And again, after the show, this is what you can eat. In the cupboard, you know, got tons of supplements, you got the bars, you know, more pro protein bars, bio test. And the, uh, everyone wants to know what the key supplement that I use this year and uh, this is it right here, Hot Rocks Extreme. This is the number one fat burner. This is the one that actually got me more shredded than I've ever been before. And to attest to that, check out the pictures online at the 2006 Nationals. This is the product right here that pushed me to the edge. This is pretty much my, my uh, what my friends like to call the Stan Shrine Room. Um, and I put a lot of my magazine covers up on the walls. And this is where I spend a lot of my time when I get off work answering emails um, on my website at stanmcquay.com. Uh, you can also reach me at tnation.com where I actually, actually answer tons of emails. I'm on here for hours a day, so your emails do get answered. Because of my website, I've, been, I've made it more accessible for fans to get a hold of me, so I've established a lot of friendships. Uh, you know, um, I, I answer tons of emails. Uh, the notoriety has been huge. I've been on eight covers this year, and just the other day I was in the grocery store, and you know, I'm standing in line. I look down and see my face on the cover of Muscle and Fitness. So, still hasn't really hit me yet. You know, it's I, I just I, I feel like I'm just a normal guy. You know, I, I'm just just like everyone else. You know, but it feels really great to have the support, and I love getting the the. Uh, the uh, the fans, emails, and the letters, and everything I get, I love it. All right, just like you guys see on Cribs on MTV, you know, everyone wants to see uh, exactly what goes on in the bedroom and uh, you know, see where I sleep, where I lay my head down. So you can do the same thing. My room. This is uh, my bed. This is the most comfortable bed in the world. It's a Tempur-Pedic. It's like an 18-inch foam pad, memory foam. I mean, you jump on here, you don't move anywhere. Now you're in my bathroom. This is the uh, trusty old tub right here. I don't spend too much time in the tub, but the girl does, and it's always nice to have a nice tub that you can see and watch your girlfriend bathe at night. I'm pretty anal in the closet, and uh, as you can see, I'm a huge Jordan collector. Uh, I collect Michael Jordan shoes. Jordan's still in the boxes. I mean, I've got every Jordan suit you can think of. That's what I do. I'm a Jordan collector. Been to my house, you see how I live. Time to move on. How's it going? I'm Stan McQuay, and you're watching The Fit Show. It's time to go work out, so come on. Well, right now we're on our way to Powerhouse Gym. Uh, this is the gym I trained at for like the last uh, 10 years now. Um, and you're in the Porsche right now. I don't normally bring the Porsche. This is actually my weekend car. I like to bring out the 300. Um, that's actually what I call my work car or the Lexus. But uh, you know, since you're in the Porsche right now, we're taking a cruise. Um, talk about my rides. You know, it's a 2002 Porsche Carrera 4. Um, 
got pretty much no miles on it because I never drive the damn thing. But um, it's a flashy car. This is the one I always wanted since I was a kid. And um, I finally got it. Well, bodybuilding is a tough sport. You know, you got it takes determination and motivation, discipline. You know, basically, you got to take it one day at a time. Just like the saying goes, and I've been quoted on it Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither is your body. Get 10% off Biotest Hot Rocks Extreme, the super weapon that puts the super in superhero. Try Hot Rocks Extreme, the fat burner that helps Stan McQuay get his pro card by melting off the last bit of fat. Get 10% off Biotest Hot Rocks Extreme at bodybuilding.com. Well, right now we're on our way to the gym and uh, basically we're gonna get a little hardcore session. Well, not really too hardcore since actually all the training is over and the nationals is over. Um, I still got to work out and uh, you know, I got a couple more photo shoots, uh, you know, shoot for the fit show to you guys today. And uh, so basically what I'm going to do is I'll take you in here and do a quick circuit and see um, the type of workout that I do just to keep in shape. Uh, because I, it's actually really easy to get hurt right now because of the water levels and uh, the, there's basically no water retention. My body fat is approximately probably around 3 to 4 percent right now. Uh, a couple days after the show, but it's the easiest time to actually get hurt. So, uh, so you're gonna see what it's like to train with me. Welcome to the Fit Show. I'm Stan McQuay, and you're training at my gym, the Powerhouse Gym in Chatsworth, California. And uh, what we're going to do today is uh, we're going to take you through one of my quick workouts. I just won the Nationals on Saturday and uh, you know I've got a few photo shoots I still got to look good for. So basically what I do is I take you through the circuit that I would do so you can still keep the volume and the density in your, in your muscles. So uh, but do, before I do get started I want to uh, make a note of one of the supplements that I uh, really rely on before I work out, during my workout and after and that is the Biotest Laboratories BCAAs. It's uh, one of the products that um, have been a tremendous help to me in, uh, in aiding in my recovery and muscle growth. So this is something I do recommend for all of you novice and uh, expert training uh, bodybuilders out there. This is one of the supplements I do recommend, BCAAs. And also, uh, before I got started today, I did take on Hot Rocks. And uh, this is uh, one of the best fat burners I've ever had on the market. And I can attest to, to this product, not only because I'm with Biotest, but let me just tell you, if you look at the pictures of the 2000, 2006 Nationals, you'll see why I came in harder and drier and more ripped than ever before. So let's go ahead and get started. The first exercise I want to start with is the lat pull down. Since I'm not getting ready for competition, what I do is I like to do you know, moderate weight and um, pretty strict form, but really well, it's all about volume. I like to get at least 15 to 20 reps in there, squeezing just like I'm posing for the pictures. Now one of the techniques that I like to use on these days when I'm getting ready for a photo shoot right after a competition is I like to do supersets. And uh, one of the supersets that I like to use is a pull-pull combo. Uh, right now I just did a pull, pull movement which was the pull down. And what I'm gonna go right into is a push which would be the uh, smaller body part would be the tricep. There we go, that's set number one with a push-pull combo. Now days like this, uh, you know, again, I don't like to you know, put on too much weight uh, on the weight stack and I'm not trying to kill myself. I'm actually not really trying to put on any muscle. What I'm trying to do is go for, to keep the separation, keep the hardness in the muscle. So I tend, what I tend to do is hit about four sets per exercise, anywhere from 15 to 20 repetitions. So uh, I'm gonna go right into my next set. Okay, um, I got started in bodybuilding kind of as a, a, a fluke. It was kind of like a mistake, let's say. Uh, I joined a gym with some friends, and uh, it was my senior year in high school, and we, we needed to get a little bigger so we could move up to the college level. And we actually saw a flyer in the gym one day, and it was for a bodybuilding competition. And uh, at the time, we thought it was for like a hard body uh, competition where you kind of like get on stage, you guys take your shirts off, and whoever's got the best abs and pecs, you know, wins the show. 
Change the weight around, and we'll go right into the push part of the movement again. Again, moderate weight. Really, it's just to get the nice squeeze and separation and pump the blood in there. Uh, little did we know, it was actually, it was a bodybuilding show. Um, so I actually tried to one-up my buddies, and I actually quit the gym we were training, and I moved down to Powerhouse, where a lot of big guys were training, and I hired a trainer at the time. And uh, you know, he read the flyer and he showed it to me. He goes, you realize what this is? This is a bodybuilding show. And I, I had no idea what a bodybuilding show was. I had 18 years old at the time and I, I never even cracked open a, a, a bodybuilding magazine. I couldn't even tell you one guy except for maybe Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, and again, now, once you've gotten your four sets, 15 to 20 reps, time to move on to the next exercise and just keep the pace going, so come on. Um, so there was a, another show before that competition was coming that he decided to take me to so I can kind of get an idea of what I was in for. And when I showed up to the show, I saw a bunch of guys coming out in their posing trunks and their underwear. That, that what I thought it was. I called it the, the Speedos. And I said, there's no way I'm going to do this. Okay, now the second round of the push-pull circuit is going to include the seated row right into a single arm uh, pull down. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here. And again, it's the same number of reps and same number of sets. We're going to hit four sets with a rep range of 15 to 20. Just make sure you're not going too heavy. You really want to keep the, uh, the motion going, really squeeze really hard, and uh, try to keep the rest periods down very low. So there we go. So we kept training, though. You know, I was really into the training part of it. And um, while I was there at the show, actually, ESPN was filming uh, a bodybuilding show at the time, which was called um, uh, Muscle America, I think it was, or something like that. And uh, they saw me in the audience and they actually came up to me and asked if I was interested in being on film. Um, I've never, again, <laughs> never took my shirt off for anybody, so I decided to agree. And uh, the next day I went down to Venice Gold and I had a full camera crew there and they started, started filming me and uh, pretty much I got hooked. They told me I needed to do a body money show if I really wanted to do anything in this and I'd actually make, try and make some money. So that's what I did. I actually enrolled in that first bodybuilding show uh, with the help of my trainer and I won the uh, overall. And from that point on, I was hooked. And right into the tricep movement, which is the push part of the movement. And that's the first set of the push-pull combo. Okay, uh, time for round two, set number two. Again, two of set number four. So make sure on this, you stay very strict. Uh, rows are very important. Make sure you don't do any swinging. You do come all the way forward, make sure you get a nice stretch. When you come back, full contraction, keep your chest up, back flat. I competed for years with the Muscle, Muscle Mania Federation, and um, you know, I was getting a lot of notoriety on television and a few magazines, but I really wanted to up you know, my notoriety, and uh, with the sponsorships, and the I know that most of the money was with the IFBB and the NPC, so uh, I decided to do a switch over. I started at the regional shows all over again and worked my way up, and uh, up until I got to the national level, which is where I'm at now. Right into the tricep again, same with this movement, stay very strict. Now, well, where I was, and I won the national show, now I'm on to the IFBB. But um, making the transition was definitely quite a difference because the, uh, the uh, level of competition was much higher, and, uh, and there's a lot more at stake in the NPC level, whereas you know, you, you're getting a couple thousand people across the United States trying to get those six pro cards for the year. And um, luckily, this was my year. Uh, and there we have it. Round number two. Time to move on to some more push-pull movements, so follow me. I'll move on to the next major body part, which would be the chest. That's going to be the push part of the combo, and the pull part of the combo is going to be the bicep curl. So I'll go ahead and start this, and again, this, the numbers are the same. We're going to hit about four sets of anywhere from uh, 15 to 20 repetitions. Uh, keep the rest periods really low. We're just really trying to keep the, uh, the rate going and uh, really squeeze hard, okay? So, I'll start right here with the incline bench press. Right into the bicep curls. And that's round number one, push-pull combo.
All right, continuing on, this is set number two of the push-pull combo. And again, strict form, I kept the rest rate really low. I'm gonna keep going, so. Did you see the show? Any pictures from the show? No, I yeah. Guys are beasts, man. I, I showed up to wins. I was the smallest guy at the wins. It's my first time going light heavies. So I showed up to wins, you know, and I was just like, you know, I'm sitting there's a lot. We had the biggest class, it was like 36 guys. And it was like, you know, the, the limit's 198. So they scale, step on the scale, it was like 198, 198 a quarter, 198, 198, and one after another, right? And these guys are like 5'5", five, 5'5", five, 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 five to 5'7". Five, We're all about the same height. Okay, my turn. I'm already feeling flat as hell. Thinking, yeah, at least 190. 187. And I was like, oh, I'm in trouble, man. I mean, 187, dude. <laughs> On the next exercise. Okay, uh, we're on now to the uh, fourth movement of the push-pull combo, and uh, this part is going to be the easy one, but actually, this, it's actually going to be the uh, most grueling because they're going to act actually up the reps, and this is going to be the cable crossover, so we're going to hit about 20 to 30 reps on this, and we're going to set that down and go right into uh, to some alternating dumbbell curls. And again, it's not too heavy, but we're really trying to get the volume in there. And right into the alternating dumbbell curls. There you have it. Damn, I was like reading the questions, like, oh, this is easy. Dang, 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 I got uh, tons of answers for these things. And now I'm like, uh, <laughs> deer, in, deer in headlights. <laughs> no. I'll be ready in like two minutes. So. Okay. Cool.